Well, you know, it, it's kind of um, uh, kind of tough for me. I mean, we, this conference has been around a long, long time, and this is going to be the last year for it. And uh, I, I really down deep think that there's going to be a lot of conference shifting over the next few years simply because of the the district assignments. Uh, I, I think that's going to dictate to conferences. Uh, it's going to dissolve some uh, where we're going. I would not be surprised if uh, the day comes that we don't go to a new conference. I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if uh, parts of the uh, Tri-Rivers comes back together with, with the addition of, of maybe a, a couple of other teams. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if the day comes that we don't do like other states and completely do away with conferences and just go right into district play. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of guessing when you talk about conferences and the futures of them. But uh, uh, right now, I, I, I just feel like that uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad that we're, we're in this conference again for at least one more year, and then we'll have to look forward to a new one. I think so. I, I really do. And, and uh, uh, our, our numbers this year are, are really not quite what we thought they were going to be, but we've only got maybe three seniors is all that we have. And our, our freshman class is, is light in numbers. Uh, the bulk of our team is sophomores and juniors. And I feel like that we can be competitive, you know, even though that we're not going to have uh, uh, many seniors. But uh, uh, it, it's a continuing building program. And I think that, uh, you know, I, I really believe that uh, bigger days are coming. Since you've been here, the running game has been key, and we should expect that again this year. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I, I'm three yards in a cloud of dust. Uh, you know, that that's kind of uh, where I played high school and right on up through uh, – uh, it, it's, it's, well, when I got into played a little bit of professional football back, seems like a hundred years ago now, back in the seventies, you know, you throw the ball a little bit more and stuff, but, uh, we, 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 we stem off of the old red Wade wing tee and, and people, the old guys around that, that have been around what is now Truman state football used to be, uh, North, Northeast, uh, uh, we kind of stem off of that. Your line has to be good. Talk to me about your offensive line. Our offensive line's young. I mean, uh, Jiminy Christmas, we're all young. Uh, but uh, uh, we're going to get, I, I think, get better all the time. Uh, this is our second day. I mean, we got helmets on. We're going against uh, uh, dummies. And uh, I see a big difference between yesterday uh, and today. And I think we'll see another difference when it comes to tomorrow. Talk to me about your running backs. Well, you know, we're going to have running backs by committee. Uh, we've got uh, uh, the Quint boy uh, has had an operation on his elbow. We're probably not going to have him all year. You know, the, the neat thing about him, I thought he came on last year as a freshman, um, and he's got two years left after after this year. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, Bondi, our fullback, has been at fullback since he was a freshman. Uh, I see him being a little quicker this year and, and a little stronger. Our, our team strength has gotten better. Um, and, 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 of course, Calvin will be our quarterback again, most likely. And uh, the rest of the running backs is really going to be by committee. Schedule-wise, uh... No cupcakes for you right out of the blocks, huh? No, no cupcakes. And, and you know, we're going to play South Callaway, and they were the Class 2 runner-up last year. And uh, I, I remember coming out of that game last year, and I've done this a long time. Uh, I felt like they were probably one of the best teams that I've ever coached against. I mean, they were right there with Borgia when we coached against St. Pius when they were good out of Kansas City. Uh, they, they might even had an edge over those two teams. And uh, they had a lot of seniors last year. But, you know, <clears throat> there's a couple of thoughts there. Number one, the kids don't know, even if they're not quite as good this year, they don't know that yet. And it's when you play a team like that out of the out of the blocks that uh, uh, may not quite have the guns that they had the year before, and the kids don't know it, they'll be just as tough. A game like that is good because one, you can really evaluate your team, and two, your team plays against good competition, and you know where to go in the next step. Well, that's true. I mean, the thing that you don't want to happen, and uh, I remember. Uh, one year when I was at Princeton, when I was having my good teams over there, I tried to uh, talk to my brother about uh, scheduling him when he was at Brookfield. Of course, we were class one and he was class two. And 
And of course, his reason for not doing it, he said, now, why go against a class two and get somebody hurt? Because, you know, you would think each time you, mo you go up a class that you're going to go up a little better quality of football and which, which is which is correct and, and I've, I've been in class one class two and class three and I really think there's a bigger jump between class one to two than there is from two to three but uh, uh, you know we're sticking our neck out a little bit if we can get through that game and and be competitive in it and and uh, get some things going good and and, and you know we're going to try to win it. I mean, we're, we're, we're going, going after it like we're going to win it. But uh, uh, the thing that we got to keep in the back of our minds is that, you know, we're trying to improve this program step by step, and there's just there, there isn't any shortcuts. You're going to have some guys, small school, you got guys who play both ways. But that keeps everybody, it keeps you in the game, doesn't it? Well, you've got to put your better athletes on the field. I mean, uh, it would be nice to be in a school where we could uh, have an offensive unit and have a defensive unit, but that's not going to happen in class one. Not not unless you're way down there south in that Catholic school down at, uh, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And, and you know, we, we, we're not going to ever, you know, we're not ever going to be able. Now, I, I would like to have the day that, that, that uh, someday that we can uh, maybe substitute maybe half you know, when, all, when defense goes in, you know, we put in, you know, five, six kids that are different. But uh, we're a long, long way from ever doing that. And we need to talk a little bit about, about your defense. Your strength on defense is? Our strength on defense is we, we've got to learn to gang tackle. I mean, that's, that's what it is. And uh, we're not real, real big. Uh, we've got to swarm to the ball. Uh, people have got to know their job and, and do their job. So like I tell kids, I said, you know, if everybody does their job, then we're going to be all right. And, uh, of course, I'm old school. I'm as old school as you can get. And, and I tell the kids for years and years and years, I say, you know, there's only two things in this game, blocking and tackling. You out-block a team and you out-tackle a team, you're probably going to win the game. Now, that was true to about 20 years ago. We fumbled the ball. I had a, had a good running back, maybe one of the best ones I ever coached, Go across right before he went across the line. He dropped the ball, and we ended up getting beat, and we ended up tying the conference. So I've added the third thing: blocking, tackling, and holding on to the ball.